surprise Arizona, Oregon State took the field to cheers and applause for its baseball season opener on Friday, but the real excitement came in the ninth inning. 10 Oregon State rallied for three runs and pulled off a 6-5 walk-off victory against the New Mexico Lobos in the College Baseball Classic. Pinch hitters Greg Fuchs and Alex McGarry wound up as the heroes for Osu, driving in two runs apiece. After New Mexico, 0-2-1, scored a run in the top of the ninth to extend its lead to 5-3, the Beavers were down to their final three outs. Motivated and hungry for the win, the Beavers 1-0, came out with their bats blazing. Freshman Jake Duckart doubled to right field for his first college hit. Adley Rutzman followed with a single to right on the first pitch he saw to bring Duckart home. Bo Phillip followed up with another single, and then Tyler Malone drew a walk. I knew when our first few guys got on, and just the way things were going, that we had a chance, Coach Pat Bailey said. It set up a bases-loaded situation for freshman pinch hitter Fuchs, who probably will never forget the first at-bat of his college career, coach just told me, Greg, stay confident, and said if the first pitch is good, swing at it, Fuchs said. Even though it was a slider, I still swung at it because I thought I saw it pretty well, but the next pitch was there, and I hit it, Fuchs hit the ball into right field for a walk-off single that scored Rutzman and Phillip and led Oregon State to its 10th consecutive season opening win. The past five of those have come in the desert in surprise. Pitcher Kevin Abel, a four-game winner in last year's College World Series, was welcomed back to the mound enthusiastically by Beavers fans. Abel started off well, allowing only one run in his first five innings. In the sixth inning, however, things started to look a little rough. With no outs, Abel gave up a two-run homer to put the Lobos on top 3-0. In the next at-bat, Abel gave up a double, ultimately leading to his exit. I thought at times he was really good, and at times he was really bad, Coach Pat Bailey said of the sophomore right-hander. Dylan Pierce came on in relief and got Osu out of the inning, allowing one additional run and putting the Beavers behind 4-0. It looked to be a dull start for the Beavers, as Oregon State's largely new lineup was struggling to get the bat swinging, we just weren't executing offensively, Bailey said. We had plenty of opportunities to score runs. It was crazy, things quickly turned around for Osu in the bottom of the seventh. Joe Casey led off as a pinch hitter for Kyler McMahon, and Casey drew a walk, bringing Preston Jones up to bat. Jones was hit by a pitch, advancing, Casey to second. The Beavers quickly found themselves with two outs, but Phillip reached on an error, sending Casey across home plate. Malone came up to bat next and was walked, followed by McGarry, who came in to pinch hit for Andy Armstrong. McGarry's single sent home Jones and Phillip, and Oregon State cut the lead to 4-3. That set up the dramatic ninth inning. Bailey said he was happy with the team's defensive performance and its no-quit attitude. His biggest critique was that his team needs to do a better job of getting runners in scoring position, I thought we took a lot of pitches, and they were pitches that should have been struck early in the count and got runners in scoring position, Bailey said. So I'm going to talk to them about that. Next up, Oregon State plays the second of its eight games late in surprise at Newton PT Saturday against Gonzaga. Brittany Bowyer for the Oregonian, Oregon Live.